Um, so today we're going to talk about a drug um, that is under the big category of um, it's under the chapter on general anesthesia. Okay, even though it's not an anesthetic, and So it's um, the subcategory uh, is um, the group of chelators and antidotes, okay? So, so Sugamadex is a drug that is used to, to reverse the effects of neuromuscular blockade that is caused by rocuronium or vacuronium, okay? So if a patient has been given rocuronium or vacuronium, and we want to reverse um, the neuromuscular blockade caused by these two drugs, okay, routinely. So we, it's a, it's a routine nowadays to give Sugamadex, okay? So it's given by intravenous injection. For adults, um, the dose is initially two to four milligrams per kg, okay, two to four milligrams per kilogram, and then we can give four milligrams per kilogram if required. So it is given if recurrence of neuromuscular blockade occurs. Okay. And for immediate reversal of neuromuscular blockade caused by rocuronium, we usually give um, by IV injection for adults. Um, 16 milligrams per kg, okay? 16 milligrams per kg. So this is for immediate reversal, okay? But the standard one is 2 to 4 milligrams per kg. So you have to be cautious um, in patients with um, cardiovascular disease, okay, cardiovascular disease. Um, the recovery may be delayed, okay, from the neuromuscular blockade for patients with neuromuscular disease. And then the elderly, okay, the elderly. And then patients with pre-existing coagulation disorders, okay? And you have to be cautious if there is a recurrence of the neuromuscular blockade. And if there is, then we have to monitor the respiratory function until the patient is fully recovered. And then also be cautious if patients use anticoagulants, okay? which is unrelated to the surgery. And also we have to wait uh, 24 hours, okay, wait 24 hours before giving procuronium again, okay? And also wait 24 hours if, before giving vacuronium, okay? So if either you are gonna give vacuronium or rocuronium again, so it's better to wait for more than 24 hours. So the, the side effects, okay? The side effects include um, reduced heart rate, bradycardia, bronchospasm, cardiac arrest, and also hypersensitivity reaction. Um, for pregnancy, you have to use with caution. We don't have, um, at least a few years ago, there was no information on that. I'm not sure whether there is any, more, any information on it nowadays, so I have to check. And then for patients with renal impairment, so avoid this drug if the 
EGFR, um, the EGFR is less than 30 mils per minute, per 1.73 millimeters square. Okay. So that's all for Sogamma Dex. So next time we might talk about the, the interaction of drug drug interaction between Sogamma Dex and other drugs. Okay, that's all. Bye.